Even though it's going to be months before we see the Flyers back in action on the ice, summer means the chance to see the orange and black up close and personal. And this summer, they have their eyes set on the Jersey Shore. Joining me now are Joe Mead, the Vice President of Community Relations and Government Affairs with the Philadelphia Flyers and the Wells Fargo Center, and Rob Baer, the Flyers Director of Youth and Amateur Hockey. Thank you both so much for speaking with us this morning. Of course. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Okay, first off, I, I'm a little distracted. I got I can tell there's a lot of fun happening behind you. So what is going on right now behind you? I see Gritty in the background. Well, right now we're preparing for the launch of our annual Flyers Community Caravan. So it kicks off next Monday in North Wildwood. We're going to be spending four days at the shore next week. North Wildwood, Ocean City, Ventnor and Sea Isle, and uh, so we'll stretch 38 miles up and down the coast, and uh, yep, Gritty will be there for each one of those events. Oh, he is such a draw. You know, your community caravan shore tour, it starts, as you said, next Monday. So what can fans really expect uh, when it arrives in their town? Well, really a host of fun, and truth be told, it's our way of giving back to our fan base, and it's, we want to recognize and really build some excitement for the upcoming season. But it's a moment for us to interact with the fans, uh, provide some giveaways, and really provide that significant Flyers experience that they look forward to when they come back in the arena for, at the Wells Fargo Center. Yeah, they're going to be really excited and pumped up about it. You know, the pandemic has impacted so many organizations. How has it affected you all? How has it affected the, the caravan? And what do you hope that fans really take away from all of this fun? Well, when, in 2020, we decided we didn't want the caravan to go away, so we sort of pivoted. And instead of it being the fixed location, boots on the ground type of event, we turned it into a mobile pep rally. And so the last two summers, we've visited communities throughout the area, and we've sort of brought the flyers right to fans' front door. So we've, we've paraded through various towns, and folks could come out to the sidewalk or come sit on the curb and wait for the flyers to roll by or Gritty to go by on his, on his bicycle or his scooter. And uh, so we were able to keep the caravan going, but we're very excited that now we're able to bring it back to its original form which is sort of those fixed locations and opening up the doors and letting the fans come in and, and interact with us. Got to be excited about that. And I, I can't help but notice Gritty is doing his thing in the background, but talk about some of this swag because this is cool. I'm seeing a bucket hat. Is that like a, a Hawaiian shirt there? Yeah, yeah, pretty fresh, right? <laughs> We've got some nice stuff, some beach towels, a couple of giveaways, potentially some uh, some prizes to, to maybe enter to win for some tickets for some, for the, some games this upcoming season. So ooh. it's a nice mixed bag, all pun intended. Ooh, ooh, I like that a lot. All right, all intended, too, to get people really pumped up for this season. How, how excited are you guys? I know it's, it doesn't really feel like hockey, but uh, how pumped up are you guys for the next season? Hey, there's always something to look forward to. The NHL draft is tomorrow. Free agency starts next week. Oh, so we're, yeah. we're obviously excited for puck drop. But there's plenty <laughs> to keep us busy and keep us excited between now and then. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much. Uh, Joe Mead, the Vice President of Community Relations and Government Affairs with the Philadelphia Flyers and Wells Fargo Center, Rob Bear. Thank you both so much for speaking with us this morning. Love that bucket hat. And for more information about the Flyers Community Caravan, just tap the NBC10 app or head to NBC10.com slash find it on 10.